I'm sorry to cut you guys off. We need to shift back to tonight's slate that kicks off the New Orleans when LeBron James and the Lakers take on Zion and the Pelicans with the seventh seed on the line here. Remember, the Lakers took three out of four matchups this season, including a 16-point win in a high-stakes regular season finale on Sunday. And despite all of that, the Pelicans enter the game as one-and-a-half-point favorites. That's according to ESPN Bet. Now, remember, Anthony Davis, he anchors the interior for the Lakers on both ends of the floor. And he's facing off against one of the most dominant paint scorers in the game in Zion Williamson. Both of these players, they are crucial, right, in their team's respective success. But Kendrick, who needs to have a better game tonight for their team to get the W? It's Zion. Look, the Pelicans are going to go as far as Zion can take. And I'm trying to figure out how is Zion a superstar versus the rest of the league? And how is he a ro look like a role player when it comes down to playing against the Los Angeles Lakers? When I look at the defense that LeBron James play on Zion, it looks personal. And it's been that way all season long. He actually take pride in stopping Zion. The, uh, the, the Lakers, they key up this, you know, boxes and elbows to take away his driving gap. Zion got to take this matchup personal but while doing it in the team concept. If he come out and be the best version of himself, they're going to win. Look at this. Minus 59. Minus 59 when playing the Lakers. He has to be Zion like he's Zion against the other team in the NBA. Do you agree, Austin? Uh, I can't say I disagree with him. I'm, I'm going to go Anthony Davis, but Perk's not wrong. Uh, the, the, the easy answer is both of them. We want to see a high-level performance from both of these guys. Uh, Anthony Davis has to be a superstar. That's who he is. That's what we call him. Um, and for them to be in the play-in, we all know is a little bit disappointing. Uh, hell, there's even disappointment on the Pelican side, too, that we're here. But listen, a lot of teams have stepped up in the West, and here we are. I need Anthony Davis to be the guy who gets to the basket, gets to the free throw line, mixes in the jumper, dominant, has his presence felt inside and out. You want him to be as dynamic of a scorer that we've seen at times and not a guy that lets length or any physical play disrupt him because that's exactly what they're going to do tonight. The Pelicans are long. They have multiple guys that can guard him. He's going to have to go out there and be a superstar for them to have a chance to win. Mm -hmm. And more so as a fan, we want to see it. We want right. to see him and Zion. Completely we agree. want to see these guys go at it. That's good for the NBA. So I hope for a good matchup, and I think AD needs to bring it. Quite simply, the most important game of Zion Williamson's career. Absolutely, especially after what we saw in the in-season tournament. This is another chance for him to show mm. what he can do, essentially with not their season quite on the line, but they do not want to slip to be in that single elimination bracket if they lose this game. So many stakes for both teams. Dave, what more can you tell us about AD's availability for tonight? Like he's listed as questionable by the team, but certainly he has every intention of getting out there in this play in scenario. He used the last 24 hours or so to get massage on his lower back. Uh, they did joint mobilization exercises and shockwave therapy. He was also trying out different heat pads that he could wear underneath his uniform to try to keep his back loose throughout the game. So certainly he recognizes the enormity of this moment and the fact that the Pelicans have, you know, really laid down against the Lakers so far this season with the Lakers going three and one and recognizing that it's going to be a more physical brand of basketball tonight and he has to be ready both mentally and physically for the matchup not to mention no one knows the Pelicans organization better than Anthony Davis but beyond AD what are the Lakers and LeBron James prioritizing ahead of this all-important game well, I mentioned, right, so they're 3-1 and one against them so right. far, so they have a ton of familiarity against this Pelicans team. So they decided to give the team off on Monday, let the guys get off their feet. They came together at a hotel ballroom for a film session to look over what happened on Sunday, ways they can get better. But really, it's all about trying to win tonight's game. They can follow the same path that they did last year. You win the 7-8, then you have four or five days off to rest your guys and also game plan for game one of the first round on the road. And we know what happened last year. They went to Memphis, they won game one. That was the springboard for them making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. I recognize the Nuggets are a different opponent yeah. than the Grizzlies were last year. 
but the idea of being healthy and being prepared is a great formula for this veteran Lakers ball club to go into the playoffs with. It all starts with getting it done tonight, and you mentioned those three wins. They're, they're, they haven't lost by less than 16 points in those. So they certainly know the recipe to get it done. Now they have to execute. It looks like it's already a party going on behind you, so I'm going to let you go enjoy that. Because after the Lakers' big win over the Pelicans on Sunday, New Orleans head coach Willie Green, he said they just punched us right in the mouth, and they kept going. And that's just been the story of the matchup, right? for the majority of the season. It's the Lakers, they won three of the four, as Dave just mentioned, against the Pelicans during the regular season. All four of those games decided by just huge margins, as you can see right here. That includes the Lakers' 44-point win in the in-season tournament semis in Las Vegas. And our Tim Legler, the best in the business, he is more on how the Lakers have shut down the Pelicans. Well, Malika, a few things came into play in that game on Sunday, and I think they will continue in this play-in game. It basically came down to pace, size and LeBron James skill level I'll show exactly what I'm talking about and Anthony Davis really big factor in this game starts off with the Lakers defense and, and take a look here you can take a look when this ball is advanced you can see CJ McCombs thinking about it but the reason he doesn't even think about going baseline is because Anthony Davis is back there in the paint lurking his presence was going to be a big factor in this game the entire way but this sort of sets the stage for how this possession is going to go Anthony Davis taking away that baseline drive we continue on Get a little ball screen action. This is just great high hands. Take a look right here. DeAndre Russell with the switch, but his hands get high. So this pass right here, this attempted pass, cannot get completed. You get a deflection, you get a loose ball pickup, and now you get paced the other way. And this was a theme throughout, creating offense with your defense. This time it's D'Angelo Russell. But this is where it really gets going. Once this ball's picked up, take a look at LeBron James. He is sprinting to the middle of the floor, and he's got two teammates out in front. And it's very important what happens here. Both guys are going to stay on the right side of the floor. And I'm going to tell you why that's important in a second. When this outlet comes, here goes LeBron. And the last person I want you to look at, here's Anthony Davis. Watch Anthony Davis sprint the floor and get ahead of the play right here. LeBron turns. The first thing LeBron James is going to do, scan the backline defenders. He can see because there's two guys on the right side of the court, he now knows both of these defenders are going to have to go with the shooters on the right side of the floor. And consequently, Zion's going to have to stop basketball. What does that mean? There's a void of space back here, and take a look at Anthony Davis. He's right in the middle of it. LeBron James gets to about this point, and he can see there's nobody on the backside. Anthony Davis puts that big arm up. LeBron James is going to lead him perfectly to the basket, and Anthony Davis gets two of the Lakers' 68 paint points. This was a theme throughout the game. Very similar on this play. Defense starting your offense, and again, it's Anthony Davis right in the middle of it. Great job right here, committing off of the shooter, gets in the lane of the driver, comes up with the loose ball. Here we go. Outlet it to the guard, and then Anthony Davis runs straight to the rim. Now, Austin Reeves, you'll see as he comes in the middle, takes a look. He thinks about getting it to Anthony Davis, but this is going to be a very difficult pass going to your left off the dribble. Instead, he also sees, here comes LeBron James. Let's run a dribble handoff. And at the exact time that's happening, LeBron James already sees that Anthony Davis is going to be open. Watch how quickly he gets rid of the basketball. It's in his hands and it's out of his hands that quickly. And there's Anthony Davis and the back line, not big enough back here for the New Orleans Pelicans. It goes to AD, continues to flush. The route is on. The Lakers control the game. It's too much size. It's too much speed. It's too much talent for the Los Angeles Lakers. When they play to their style, interior, Lakers are going to be a tough team to beat. It all goes down tonight. Perk, Lakers, Pelicans, who you got? I got Zion and the Pelicans, baby. I'm going with Noya. I think they're going to come out with a playoff-type mindset, mentality. I think they're going to come out. They're going to be physical. We heard Willie Green somewhat call him out. Imagine what he was saying in the film room. I believe they're going to pick up their intensity, especially at the wing position, from Murphy, Herb Jones, Zion is going to be more physical. And I'm looking at C.J. McCullough, the veteran. He's going to get into his bag tonight. Yeah, uh, I definitely got the home cooking with New Orleans. Not a bad pick, Perk, but I'm going gumbo. experience on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who does it? Who does it? Uh, I'm going with the Lake Show. I'm going with the Hollywood <laughs> team. Uh, LeBron James, AD, they've been here. They've made this run before. We can all remember last year, the historic run that they made all the way to the conference finals. Maybe not historic, but a good run nonetheless. Um, and I see this team being able to perform in these light, uh, bright lights. I mean, we're, we're talking about a high pressure situation. Uh, I, I 
LeBron James is the best to ever do it, or arguably. And, yeah. you know, you got Anthony Davis. He's got the role players down there. I see this team going out there and playing well. Perk talked about it. LeBron, and they guard Zion pretty damn well with that size that they have. Uh, I, You know, again, AD is that X factor, or one of them at least. But I, I think the Lakers win. Woj said it at the beginning of the show. This is the single most important game of Zion Williamson's career right here. And he has Ooh. a whole lot that he can go out and prove against LeBron James, Anthony Davis and company. It, it's just so difficult, and you guys know this better than, than I do, to go on the road essentially and win two playoff or playoff-like games. And that's what the Los Angeles Lakers are tasked with doing between Sunday and today, basically starting off 2-0 and in their playoffs on the road. But that's what it all comes down to. All right.